shame because when we walked in, it looked really nice. But you know, when you've been driving for 15, 16 hours and you're not noticing things at first, it's, you know, at first it looks nice and then you realize it, it was not, it was not clean, so. All right guys, I have to say this is an extremely nice room. So booking.com screwed up. They gave us a room that was not available. So Holiday Inn upgraded us for free, but it's got a king size bed in the suite, a pull out couch, the coffee table, a little chair area to work at, nice desk. You also have the dresser drawers, the large TV, the sitting bench areas to hang your jackets or coats. Then you also have in here is the bedding for the couch, your iron, ironing board, coat hangers. You also have the stools next to the bed to be able to sit on. Um, and then these are cool too, cause it's got the regular plugs and then two USBs and that's on each side of the bed. And you also have the fridge. So that's nice. And then look at that, they have Keurigs, not the junk coffee. Microwave and then the bathroom. This is a beautiful room. Nice big shower, really nice glass doors, and they have good shampoo and conditioner and shower gel. And I don't know, is it just me or don't you just love when they like fold the toilet paper like that? It's so cute. So the only thing that I think they're lacking is a couple more towels. You really should have more than two. Um, but the bathroom is big. You've got plenty of space, definitely plenty of counter space to get ready. And the floors are gorgeous. So completely different from uh, the areas where we've been before. Let's give the bed a try. It's quite comfy. It's definitely a good bed. Um, I am gonna have to check and see how much this room is because the one we originally booked had two queen size beds. It was a large room, it had two queens, um, and that one was 98. I'm not sure how much the suite is, but I will check and I will put this in the I, I can't even talk right now. We literally have been driving all day. It is now uh, 2.15 in the morning. We started this morning California time at 7 a.m. from San Diego. We're exhausted. So I apologize that I can't talk, but I will put the price in the end of the video for you. I also am gonna add the link in the description for this hotel. Totally recommend it. They said tomorrow morning breakfast is biscuits and gravy, sausage and omelets. Hello, that sounds amazing. We're also gonna add that at the end of the video as well. So stick around and we will show you more. The outside, also gonna show you the lobby and the ins and outs of this hotel. Just watch. Just scan the floor. I mean, they didn't even like vacuum and mop. It's disgusting. Oh, it's like all the way in the back. A dirty towel. It's hair. They rolled up a dirty towel and put it in the shower because I just opened this to take a shower and noticed all the funk.
You know, when you pay for a hotel and you're exhausted, you expect it to be clean. You definitely expect it with large uh, corporations. Disgusting. So the eating area, the office area, lobby. <laughs> I'm gonna show you though. And it's like even the floors, they're just, they're not vacuumed, they're not mopped. The thing, like I get it if it's really busy, but there's no excuse for rooms, and I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this one, one hand, but there's just no excuse for rooms to ever not be clean. That's disgusting. I mean, having other people's private hairs on the floor and in the bed linens, absolutely disgusting. So I, you know, we'll see if they remedy it. I honestly, we would never have stayed here again. Um, and I did go in and talk to the, to the manager when I checked out right now. She said supposedly they're supposed to give us enough points to stay here for free because I would never pay to stay at this one again, which was a really shame because when we walked in, it looked really nice. But, you know, when you've been driving for 15, 16 hours and you're not noticing things at first, it's, you know, at first it looks nice and then you realize it, it was not, it was not clean. So we'll see if it happens, but uh, in the meantime, I would not recommend the Holiday Inn in Odessa, uh, Texas. It was, it was not clean. And for this to be, you know, supposedly so much better than a Motel 8 or even La Quinta or Motel 6, like, I don't know, we've never had a room, an issue with La Quinta, like ever. And all of the La Quintas that we've stayed at, I've never had a problem. But so far, all of the ones like Holiday Inn um, and some of the other brands, it's been... The last one was um, Sure Stay by Wyndham. That one was disgusting. Um, but again, we were so stinking exhausted in Wilcox, Arizona. And I'll, I'll put those uh, pictures in this video so you can see what we're talking about. But it was the same thing when we were heading out to San Diego. Uh, don't stay at the Sure Stay, Wilcox, Arizona. So this actually was the Sure Stay by Best Western in Wilcox, Arizona. And on Google Maps, it had four, almost four and a half stars for the reviews. And I can simply say, you have to be careful trusting the reviews because this place was truly disgusting. Over a hundred a night, we expect great a whole reviews. lot more. Yeah, don't stay there. And this one had great reviews too, and it was dirty. So there you go, guys. These are uh, two that we say don't bother staying at. Try to find La Quinta, they're a lot better.